Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Diablo 4. Last episode, we found Nyrell's mother, and it looks like her mind has been corrupted by Lilith to the point to where she wanted to slay her own daughter due to her lust for knowledge. And we had to put her down, but she actually defeated us the first time. And today, we are going to get a potion upgrade. So let's go do that. Probably could have used this potion upgrade when we were fighting her. I want to increase the potency of my healing potion. Well, you certainly have the look of someone who spends a lot of time in the wilds. I expect you'll also want some of my elixirs. But let's focus on your healing potion for now. I have some extra materials we can use this time. If you want to improve your healing potion further, or craft any elixirs, you'll need to source your own ingredients. I'll not leave these walls. Never again. Alright, healing potion upgrades. The potency of your healing potion can be upgraded at the Alchemist. Upgrading will require gold and herbs collected from around the world. Alright. Healing potion charges can be increased by earning renown in each region of sanctuary. Region renown can be viewed on the map. Alright, let's have a chat with her. Tiny healing potion. Okay, so I guess we'll get that since we're level 10. And then the next one's a minor healing pot. And that'll be the highest one that we can get. So I believe this early access beta only goes up to level 25. And I think today we'll uh, we'll explore a little bit. I don't want to just, you know, beeline through the story and just rush through it. It would be cool to, you know, do a little bit of exploration and see what we can find. Oh, a little bit of lag here. Oh, all right, we're back. <laughs> I wonder what was going on there. And I think that explains why they don't allow you to use abilities in town. I think uh, if people were, like, spamming their abilities in town, maybe they think people would, like, you know, lag out of the game. Might be a little too much. It's one thing I always enjoyed doing in Diablo 3 was just, you know, blinking around town or spamming my abilities. Yeah, it's a little choppy. It would be cool to change up our spec. I would kind of... We're a mix of, like, um... Bows and daggers. And I wonder what it would be like if we just, you know, focused on one. Maybe we'll look into that as well. Oh, there's another guy here. A fine harvest for my master. Hmm, got a decent amount of stuff here. I'm not too sure what I think about, you know, always being in a zone with other players. It's like, it's kind of a, a lot different from, uh, you know, old school Diablo. It's gonna take me some time to get used to it. It's more like an MMO now. It's locked. Locked. So like we need to get a key. There we go, level eleven. Let's see what we'll go into here. 
Oh, we can refund all right here. Okay. Maybe we'll do that now. Why not? Yeah, it's refund all. How much would it cost? 40 coin. Okay, so I imagine, you know, as you level up, this probably starts to cost a little bit more. And it's a good way to, you know, have a gold sink in the game, so I, I don't really mind that. Oh, what the heck's going on here? Alright, so now we don't have any talents. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good place to do that. Yeah, maybe we should head back to town. Should we? We're gonna be safe right here. Let's go to abilities here. Alright, so you start here. And then there's enhanced. At, I assume this is after you've... Uh, you've, you know, increased it by... Um, five? You get like an upgraded version of it. I think this is like a, a good one to upgrade. So we'll use that. Enhanced invigorating strike. Damaging... A crowd controlled or injured enemy with invigorating strike increases the energy regen by 30. I think an enemy with invigorating strike while you are below 50% energy makes them vulnerable for 3 seconds. And then invigorating strike additionally grants 8% lucky hit chance. Hitting a crowd controlled or injured enemy increases this bonus to 16% lucky hit chance. So we'll try this. We'll try. We'll we'll try like a melee build. So we'll do. Uh, yeah, blade. Maybe blade shift and and invigorating strike. Yeah, we'll give this a try. Flurry. Impale an enemy with your blades, making them take 8% increased damage from you while impaled. After 1.5 seconds, the blades return to you. Okay, so we'll take that too. Pretty much just going to try to stay away from the arrow. And... I think we'll focus on... Blurry, I guess. Or our, should we focus on our melee or just uh, mostly abilities? I think should probably focus on, and then we'll get Shadow Step, and we'll take Dash. We'll see how this goes. I'll go all into flurry here. I'm not ready yet. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's check out this build. It's cool how you can just refund it right there. You don't have to, like, go to a vendor or anything. Yeah. 
try to disempower it. Did a lot of damage. Try to get into this uh, dungeon here. I think you have it marked on the map. Yes. I need more time. The Western Highways, twenty five plus. <laughs> right. Okay, this is 11. Only 11. It's actually perfect for us. Pretty sure we haven't been in here. The Path of Blood. Pretty creepy dungeon. Oh, see how this goes. Yeah, this yeah, how this melee build works. But if we get in on a single target and, you know, we shadow step into uh, this twisting blade, it should take a ton of damage. Yeah, like right there. Pretty strong. What the heck is this? Is that a second ring? We got a, a rare helmet. A new dagger. Yeah. Try out a bow build too. See what like a an only bow builds like. Not sure if I should have went everything in this flurry. Need more time. Look at the damage this guy, man. Like once you put that dot on him with the uh, twisting blades. I take a ton of damage.
Pants? Those are pants are better than my legendary pants? That's six armor. There's no way they're better. I'm gonna have to look at these into these upgrades a little more. this lethal shrine base strike of the death in hand all of your crit hits are strike all of your hits are crit the beginning? I'm going to have to go down this way. The Ghastly Depths. It needs time to recharge. Resist lightning, resist four energy. Two maximum life or four energy? I think we'll take the energy. Twisting Blade says so much damage. I wonder how far you can go at like level 25. Full of testing like other builds go. Oh, we missed out on that health pot. Yes. 
This guy. Dude, the amount of damage you do. <laughs> we didn't have that much single target damage last episode. Tunic's an upgrade. Yeah. Big upgrade. These pants might be an upgrade. Three decks, 2% healing received, 5 willpower. Not really sure what willpower does. But we have more of it on with these pants. But we don't have this, like... You take 22% less damage from CC enemies. Yeah, so it's a nice trait to have, I think. Probably eventually replace it. We'll hold on to it for now. So we have 16 more enemies in here, supposedly. This has to be the end here. Resurrected Malice. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Oh man. Do you have any ads? Yeah. I need more time.
Alright. Gives you a lot of like health pots, so. Let's see what upgrades we got. 1.5% damage. I think that's pretty good. It's probably better than extra damage. We got extra armor there. It's, like, it's pretty much the same thing. I think we do physical damage. And then more damage per second on that bow. more armor on these. Oh, that was cool. I hope we were doing uh, twisting, blades, twisting blades properly. And we were getting the dot on the boss. Back in town. Let's sell the the junk we got here. I need more time. No. I'll sell Thank the pants. You. A fine deal. They're almost level 12. I'm just gonna go out and see if we can get that quick. Yes, I'm not ready. Nope. I see they just blow up. Pretty strong dot. I wonder if you can like amp it up with like poison and stuff like that. Try it on this guy, see how much damage he takes. <laughs> he's gets he's gets rocked. It's a strong ability. I probably should have put five points into that. Instead of like very, very pretty good too though. We just you hit him once with the dags. Dead. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. Yeah, cool build. Yeah, we hit level 12. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, maybe we'll keep going into Twisting Blades. If we unlocked it, yeah, we've unlocked a new area, actually. Concealment. Banished from sight, gaining an advanced form of stealth for four seconds that will not be removed by taking damage. Sealman also allows you unstoppable, grants you 25% movement speed, and allows you to move freely through enemies for its duration. Sounds like a pretty good, like, spell to have for, uh, for hardcore. Smoke Grenade. 
throw a smoky concoction at enemies that dazes them for four seconds. Place a trap that arms after 1.25 seconds. Poison trap. It activates when an enemy moves within range, applying 456 poison damage over nine seconds to enemies in the area. That's pretty strong. That's a lot of damage. It's like an insane amount of damage. I wonder how much it cost me to refund again. 66. A little bit higher. I don't know what I would put the poison traps for, though. Like, we're, we're kind of cool to do. Oh, I want to try it. We'll put it here where Dash is. See the damage of that. And then the, the area. Okay. Yeah. Little bosses occasionally appear. In Sanctuary and drop value materials, go to the mark location to participate. Where the heck is that? All the way over there? Oh, I can't get there. Not in time, that's for sure. <laughs> Our closest... We don't even have a... I guess we could, we can try. Poison's not bad. It's really strong if they sit in it. To get them to sit in the poison, you have to like CC them, right? It's gonna be really cool to see like what team combos you know players come up with. With damage, you know, like a rogue sets down a trap and then a sorcerer like freezes them in place and they sit in sit in it for the entirety of the damage. Oh man, there's a lot of cool. There are some cool ones that I can get there. Let's see if we can, hopefully we can get there in time. This chest is lost. One good thing about Flurry, maxing it out. Helps with these duels. Yeah, poison Trap did pretty good against these guys. Not that AoE. Let's see how we get here. I don't need to go this way. There's gonna be any players there. I'm not ready yet. And that's kind of cool too. Like there's there's ups and downs to it being an open world, right? It's kind of cool, like going to like a world event like that. That wasn't really in, you know, three or two. Need more time. I'm not too well of a level for this. Let's see when we get there. I'm not ready yet. I don't want to change my, my abilities here. If we got dash, we can get there maybe a little faster. All right, so here it is. See what we find down here. What the heck is this? 
you have reached your destination. So are we like waiting for it to spawn? It's gonna take all day. <laughs> like what the heck? It begins in 26 minutes. Okay. It's not bad. So what should we do in the meantime? I guess we just run around, kill stuff. Kind of came here a little too quick. What's our inventory? Yeah, we got tons of space. And what's this? My staff. Let's explore, I guess, in the meantime. This game looks great. I, I really like this like art style. And I like the combat too. Yeah. It's not as as fast as three, but it's uh, it just when you hit somebody with a weapon in this in this version, it really feels like you know you're hitting them. I don't know if you know what I mean, but like you can you can hear like the thud when you like connect. It's a shame we can't find anybody around here. We're gonna have to go back down there soon. Be careful! Stop them! Stop who? These guys? What this is? I'll protect the wanderer. Oh. I think I should die. That ability's awesome, man. I need more time. Could even die to that. So there's like waves. Oh, Hogan Wretch Blade. So are we. I'm not ready yet. Clearly don't want to fight this guy in really range. <laughs> He's getting beat up over here. Vampire bastards. Upgrades here. Why for the local events? It just seems like that's your achievement page. All right, so let's see. If we got any? Yeah, there we go. More, more damage there. A little bit more armor on those boots. I don't think they're better than the ones we got. And the ones we have have dexterity on them. 
Seems like the, da the, the the weapons are pretty straightforward. It's just the gear you gotta kind of look into. It is kind of deceiving when it shows you, like, you know, yeah, it has more armor, it's better, but it's actually not. So we'll head over here. We'll see if we can find, uh... I need more time. Fast travel. We won't start the quest. Because I do want to actually head back here and, and do the world boss. I think that'd be kind of cool. State your business. Reverend Mother Prava expects me. Open the gates! Open them up. Oh, it's Vigo. Vigo the Crusader. I don't really want to talk to him right away. But, uh, doesn't seem to be like any uh, waypoint here. I'm not ready yet. I don't want to talk to Vigo and then we start like a quest. Yeah, you would think there would be like a waypoint. Not a fortress like this. Is that armor? This is no mere armor. This is a holy vessel of the highest craftsmanship. It may uplift the repentant sinner directly to the light. Can armor do that? Okay. I can't do that here. It's one thing I don't like. I don't like not being able to do my abilities in a town. Alright, so I guess we'll be back. We'll eventually make our way up here again. I'm not going to start the quest right now. We'll make our way back to... Uh, where the world bosses. 18 minutes though. Should we just start the quest? And then we can just I'm not ready yet. Yeah, we're up here, whatever. <laughs> I said we wouldn't do quests. <laughs> but we'll do quests today. I guess. We're up here. Got 18 minutes for the world boss. You were good soldiers. Worked hard. Fought hard. Drank hard, too. Maybe after this, this uh, fort will maybe open up to us a little bit more. Brothers. Sisters. I hope you find peace in these flames. Vigo. What are you doing here? So you lived. I came clean to Trava. About... Taking that woman's bribe. Uh, it's looking bad. My ass is on the line. Might not have a job when she's done with me. Hey, you're here for her, right? Let's go together. Maybe she'll go easy on me if you're there. All right, Vigo. I wonder if I can bring Vigo to the world Not boss. Many could bear your sins. Hold. She's expecting us. Vigo. Good luck. Have the new watch commander replace the forces we lost at the mine. So. You've returned. Vigo here tells me you were braver than he. I need a divine blessing to chase Lilith. First, you will be made worthy of a blessing. A holy war cannot be won with faithless troops. Make no mistake, this war is holy. 
Lilith has brought the eternal conflict to Sanctuary. And Inarius will deliver us as writ in prophecy. Until then, we have our parts to play. Make a pilgrimage to the Alabaster Monastery. Cleanse your spirit. Then we may discuss a blessing. There's always a catch. May as well make myself useful. Come by the ruins, south of here. Well, there we go, we spoke to uh, Mother Krava. We got a new quest called Pilgrimage. To the Shrine of the Penitent. Where's that, down here? Well, it's on our way to the world boss, so that's good. So I've got to make sure I don't miss that. Got 15 minutes. I need more time. It's being tied out. Hail. What must I do for the pilgrimage? There's a shrine west of here. There's a relic. I'm told it takes on your sin, weighs you down, body and soul, beats the hell out of you. It'll cleanse you, prepare you to stand before the Father. I hope you don't have many regrets, friend. This kind of thing is a lot deadlier for some than others. Watch out, all right? I'll find you at the end. What can you tell me about the pilgrimage? Nothing good. Lost more than a few worthy soldiers to it. But it'll clean you up for Inarius. Rare honor for an outsider. <laughs> if you can call it that. Guess we're gonna go see Inarius. You're not coming with me? Ah, uh, no. I'm not ready. Not by a long shot. Even if I could survive the trail, there's no telling what would happen in the end. You, though, you have a solid chance. Do you believe the Cathedral's prophecy? I had my doubts. The priests were always going on about the return of Lilith. But now she's here, just like they said. Alright. It's not too far west. We got 13 minutes. So what I think I'll do, guys, I'm going to call the episode here. And next episode, we will start at the world boss. And then we'll continue this pilgrimage. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.